the Maven app has a feature called Geofence. And Geofence will allow you to map out an area that the drone cannot fly out with. And it's not just about the area, it's also the height and the height below. So you can set the drone so it will not go below what your height you set and it won't go above the height that you set and it won't go outside of the boundaries. And here's how you set it up. So to create a geofence, you just click on the geofence. As long as your data and the phone is connected, you can zoom into the area where you are. And I'm standing right here in the centre circle. And the area that I'm standing in, as you can see all around this area, there's a, the playing field is bordered by trees and there's a main road up there, trees all the way around. And there's also a child's play park there. So what you may want to do is, you may want to restrict the drone from coming down into the area of the play park. So you may want to set it at 20, not to go below 20 meters. You may want to set it not to go too high so that it's out of your line of sight. So you may want to set it at say 50 meters and you may want to map it so that it stays within the area of the playing field and doesn't go into the trees. So to do that, it's a long press, once again, and then another long press, and then another long press, and you can now see the shape of the geofence. Another long press, and there we have it, and I'm quite happy with that. It doesn't even go as far up to the playing fields. So you can make finer adjustments by going into the settings and then moving. And you can adjust each geo point individually. Once you have your boundary set, Click on settings to remove that. And then you can, on the other settings, you can adjust the altitude. So we'll make the maximum altitude here 50 meters. And we'll make the minimum altitude 15 meters. The maximum vertical speed, we'll just keep it as it is. And the maximum rotation of the yaw, we'll keep that as it is. So now you have your, your area set. It won't go below 15 meters and it won't go above 50 meters. You can save it. And then anytime you come back out to the area, you can load it back up. Now, why would you want to use something like this? Why would you want to restrict yourself in, in height and altitude and restrict yourself from flying about? Well, here's a good reason why. Let me introduce you to my grandson, Charlie. Hi. Charlie is not a very experienced drone pilot. He's had a little shot of Lassie, but only once. He was pretty good with it, mm -hmm. but if I was to let him loose with Lassie here, I'd have to be hanging over the top of him to make sure that he wasn't going too high or too low or getting too close to the kids' park. But with the Maven Geofence, I don't have to worry about that. I can give him the controller and let him loose. As long as I've set up the Geofence, I know that he can't go too high, he can't come too low, and he can't go into any of the trees or go outside the boundary I've set. So do you fancy getting Lassie up in there and giving it a go? Yes. Let's do that. Yep. So I'm going to fire up the Maven app. And a couple of days ago, I was out here just a few minutes ago to you and created a geofence, this one here. And Charlie's going to fly Lassie today using that geofence. So we're now at the geofence area. What you do is if you click on the three dots and click on the geofence. It'll allow you to select which geofence area you want to play. And we're, and we're now ready to take off. So hold it on nice and flat and we'll take it off. So now Lassie's in the air, in the air, and she will be flying within the geofenced area. 
So Charlie, stand here and let's see. I want to see if you can fly as far as that play park. What's happened? Is she not, is she not going any further? Is that as far as she'll go? Right. That's very good, that's good. I'm still going. Right. So as you can see here, Charlie is pushing on the stick to send Lassie forward. But Lassie is not moving. She won't go any further than the geofence. Bring her back, Charlie. Okay, what I want you to try to do now is, you know how to make her go up? Right, make her go up as high as you can. Go on, all the way up to the moon. The geofence has locked her into 50 metres, so she shouldn't go any higher than that. Ah, is she not going up any higher? Even though you're trying, that's it. You're trying your best to make her go up and she won't go up any higher. Okay, excellent. Bring her back down. And this time, I want to see if you can make her come right down to the ground. Is she stuck? And there we see Lassie will not come below 15 metres. She just won't come below what's set in the geofence. Right, I want you to see if you can fly her over to those trees. Easy enough. Easy enough. That's up, that's going up. That's it, fly her over to the trees. Good. Keep going as far as you'll go. Is that it? Won't you go any further? She's stopping. Excellent. Right, bring her back. No, wait. It's not worth it. No, no. All right, bring her back over here. Now what I want you to do is, mm -hmm. just fly it about anywhere you like. Oh. Just fly it all over the place. I'll sit down for Okay. Can you fly it all the way over past those trees over there? Is she not going to do it? She doesn't want to go into the trees. <laughs> okay, you need to bring her back. Okay, so I'm going to adjust the geofence now and bring her so that she can fly down to five metres. So, let's see this. You hold that for a sec. Don't press any buttons. That's good. 
and we'll see if we can adjust the geofence. Yep. It is disabled now. Okay, let's see if we can adjust that. <laughs> So we're going to edit it now and we're going to edit the height so we're going to bring the altitude down so that it can actually come down to 10 feet and what we'll do is we'll extend the geofence a little bit so that it can go a little bit further. So we are going to, to see And we'll effects. save, and we'll save that one there. And let's now fly with this geofence with the new parameters. Okay, so Charlie, you should now be able to bring her down yes. to about 10 feet, to about this height. So let's see if you can bring her down. Well, bring, see how, she, how low she can come now. Okay, is that it? Yeah. Okay, so you push, push right down on that stick. Don't, don't worry about that just now. There, so Charlie's pushing right down on the stick as far as he can. But Lassie is not going below the 10 feet mark. Okay? Right, so you can fly it about as much as you like now. Let's see if I can go further than Lassie. All right, so get her to follow me and see if I can go further than she can. Send her to me! So that's Lassie reached the end, the edge of the geofence and she can't come any further than this. Push her further! Won't she come? So there we go. She just won't come beyond the boundary of the geofence. <laughs> so you can see that this is a great way of letting an inexperienced user, a young kid, or someone who's just never flown the drone before, fly your drone in an, an open area like this, with trees all over the place but without any worry of them hitting the trees or coming down too low that they might crash into someone or the ground or going too high that they might get a fly away with the wind. So that's the Maven Geofence, fantastic feature. So what do you think of that Charlie? It means that you're safe to fly wherever you want and I don't even have to watch you flying, I can just let you fly about yourself. Oh, hold on. How did it... Oh, did you turn the geofence off? No? No. All oh, right. How did it... Where is she? Warning. Drone outside of the geofence. Warning. Drone outside of the geofence. Warning. Drone outside of the geofence. Right. Warning, drone outside of the geofence. Warning, drone outside of the geofence. Warning, ah. drone outside of the geofence. So it's not... Virtual geofence disabled. Oh. 
Well, that was quite good. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll do a little bit about that as well. Um, let's put the geofence back on. There you go. So there's something additional that we didn't know about. If the drone does go outside the geofence, and the way this can happen is that if you fly to the edge of the geofence and there's a bit of a wind, and there is quite a strong wind today, it can blow the drone over the edge of the geofence. And what happened in that case was there that I was given a warning that it was outside the geofence and the drone would not move. I couldn't use any controls to, to move the drone backwards or forwards. I could move it up and down, but I couldn't move her back and forwards until I switched the geofence off and brought her back inside the geofence and then turned her back on. So that is an additional feature that is, that is really quite good. So in the event that the drone does get carried outside the geofence with the wind, it will give you the warning and the drone will just hover and won't fly any further. Fantastic. If you hold down the drone, hold it down until it goes beep, beep, beep. And let it go now. Look. Watch Lassie, up in the sky. She'll turn round and she'll start coming back home and then she'll land herself. Oh. Why is she going so high? Because that's the height that I've set for her to return to home so that she clears any trees just in case there's trees in the way. And at any point during the geofence flying, if you hit the return to home button, what will happen is it automatically cancels the geofence and sends, sends the drone back to the, your pre-prepared return to home settings, which means it will fly to the altitude that you set to return to home and then do what you've asked it, either return to home or hover or land. And in this case, it's return to home. Look how high up she is, Charlie. If you turn the gimbal right down, you know, the wheel, she'll look right at us. All the way down. And that's us, we should be in that circle, that green circle. Can you see me waving? Yep. <laughs> so there you go, you can see the applications of the Maven Geofence. It allows someone who's inexperienced in flying, like Charlie, or anyone else who's never really had a go, to have a shot of your DJI Mini 2 with your peace of mind knowing that they can't come down and crash into the ground or anyone that's down too low, they can't go too high and get a flyaway and the, the drone will stay within the boundaries. So what did you think of that, Charlie? Amazing, I thought it was the best thing ever. The best um, thing ever? How good is that? Because it has these like a safe but set seals shield thing what keeps you in the area so it doesn't hit anyone or stars. What more could you want? A safety feature that can allow a young kid who's never really flown drones much to fly about and you can sit and have a cup of coffee and check your Facebook page. So if you got something out of this video, education, entertainment, how to do something, give us a Just thumbs up and Please try. Subscribe the channel. Meantime, we're out of here.